So it's been a few days since I replaced the uh, rear wheel in this bicycle. And for the uh, most part, it has been a success. And the fact that these uh, cones are a bit loose, well, I hardly uh, noticed that. So shifting works a lot better with this uh, 1980s hop. It's more positive and first gear feels a lot better, especially when, uh, when pedaling hard. And the fact that uh, this axle is uh, about a centimeter narrower than the original one hasn't been a big problem. A couple of extra washers took care of uh, the issue. But I'm having troubles uh, with this drum brake and as you can see it is set pretty loose at the moment. If I set it any tighter I'm starting to feel drag and well basically it's just as bad as the original and that one was full with oil and uh, WD-40. This one I cleaned and I actually sanded the uh, brake pad material. So I'm not sure what to do with this. Hopefully somebody can give me some uh, pointers in the, in the right direction. Because at the moment braking totally sucks. Not that you need uh, good brakes in, uh, in a flat country like the Netherlands. But yeah, I was expecting some improvement. I'm going to try and uh, demonstrate. At the moment this brake lever is pretty loose and I don't have a whole lot of uh, stopping power. But there is also no uh, or hardly any uh, drag coming from the uh, drum brake. The wheel keeps spinning for a long time. Okay, that stopped. Now if I tighten this up to, um, to a point where I have more acceptable stopping power, something like this. So after adjusting, let's try and spin the wheel just as uh, fast. You see, the wheel came to a halt pretty fast. And that's all drag coming from the uh, drum brake. You can see the difference when I uh, just uh, remove the uh, brake rod. Yeah, I'm starting to uh, dislike drum brakes. They seem to cause a whole lot of drag. So if anybody has any tips, I would like to know them because, well, I would uh, very much like to improve this uh, situation. Because I would like to be able to stop at a uh, crossing and not uh, get overrun by a car. So now I'm going to squirt some oil in this uh, loop point. It's probably there for a reason. Maybe I'm also going to squirt some oil through the axle. I have to take off this uh, Sturmy Archer nut, otherwise all of the oil will come out through the hole on the side. You can see this, this axle is a bit short. That's probably enough. So, that should keep the uh, rust demon at bay. So, ready for the next test ride. 